All right, so what we're going to be working on now is the ukemigata, which is kind of like uh, the receiving forms, I guess. One of the big things in Togakure-ryu is um, what they call mutodori, which basically means, like to really dumb it down, I'm going to give you a basic translation of it. It's more complicated than what I'm going to make it sound, but basic translation means like no sword. So I have nothing and they have a blade and you still have to be able to evade danger. The biggest thing in Togakure-ryu um, is that the idea is you've been, the, the training is training to be a spy, but it's also training the idea of like, you've been spotted, now how can you evade? How can you do something really quick and evade so you can get back to your lord, get them the information, get them the documents, get them what they need, and just get back. A lot of, that's a lot of the Togakure-ryu stuff. You'll see them throw powders and run, you know, certain uh, techniques to evade, shuriken and then evade, climb trees to evade, hide, camouflage, all this kind of stuff. The, the big part of that particular school is that much different than what we see in Tomoru. Tomoru is a much, much, much different animal when it comes to that, right? Just a little bit more aggressive and, and the way that they do things, right? But the Togakure Ryu is more on the evasion line. You see a lot of what they call Tonjutsu, okay? So in the, uh, in the Ukemi, in the Ukemi Gata, the first technique that we're going to do, right? And when he goes to Jodan no Kamai, I'm going to assume Ichimanji, or Ichi no Kamai, excuse me. Um, actually, you know, before we begin, let me do the Kamai. So, when you study classical Koryu, you always want to make sure that you can do the Kamai of that school. Because the Kamai is what helps you understand the motion. Right? They're, they're very, Kamai is very deep, it's very dynamic, and you should know those points when you're dealing with certain things, right? When you're studying uh, Togakure Ryu, the idea is to understand those Kamai, regardless of tradition. So, there are five basic kamai in Togakure Ryu Nimpo Taijutsu. The first one's called Ichi no Kamai. Now it's similar to Ichimanji, similar, um, but when you do this you've got your front foot straight and if you guys want to kind of do this with me just behind the camera there just to get an idea, get a feeling for the technique, that'd be great. We've got our front foot straight, the back foot you're going to have off at a 45, real wide stance, kind of like the way, yeah, like a castle would be, right? The way the, the castle moves. Now this side now, from here, I want you to lean way back, like almost so far back that that leg is straight. And as you're here leaning back, this comes over the heart and this is straight. So this right here is what we call Ichi no Kamai, yeah? The next one we see also in some of the other schools that we get from uh, the Toda family, we have Hirichi Manji no Kamai, which you guys see that also in Gyokoryu. And that's the same, Hirichi Manji no Kamai, right? The next one that we're gonna be doing is called Hachimonji no Kamai. So our feet's gonna be very similar to the start of Ichi no Kamai, right? But in this position right here, in this position right here, what we're going to be doing is making sure this hand's open and straight, and this one's straight all the way up, and just kind of sink down 50-50. This, this right here is called Hachimonji no Kamai, right? The next one's called Hapo Gakure no Kamai. And what we're doing is very similar to Hoko, but you're gonna have your hands clenched in a fist. The idea is that you have Metsubushi, blinding powder, some sort of concealed weapon, something along those lines. Or you're wearing shuko, and you're trying to hide the fact that you're wearing claws. So when you do hapo gakure no kamai, you're really prominently leaning forward on that leg and you're in this position just like this, yeah? There's hapo gakure no kamai. The last one's called tonso no kamai. And when you do tonso no kamai, you're gonna have a lot of weight on the front leg, back leg off a little bit. But the, the key point is that the hand is inside the jacket and you're gonna grab for like a concealed weapon or something and you're leaning forward just like this, like you're gonna throw shuriken, or you're gonna grab something to evade. Just that tonso no kamai, yeah, just like this, right? Now, when you're doing this kamai, it's really important. You don't ever want the knee to go over the toe. You do wanna lean, but you don't wanna lean to where that, that knee is over the toe, so we have proper, we can react properly within a combative situation. If you do this, see how my knee is going over the toe? That's really hard for me to have any reactionary movement within a combative situation. The people that do that probably aren't sparring and. <laughs> And you know, applying the technique, you know, that way. They're doing it from a museum piece, so they're trying to just do a particular position. We know in this particular church school, we know that the kamai is alive, and you have to put yourself in a position to use it in a combative situation. This, where my knee is over my toe like this, there's no way we can use that. So never let the knee go over, okay? So real more time, real quick, let me go through those kamai, and you guys can kind of get a feel for it, okay? So like I said, the first one that you see in Togakure Ryu, we've got is Ichi no Kamai, Hiri Ichimanji no Kamai, Hachimonji no Kamai, Hapo Gakure no Kamai, Tanso no Kamai. <laughs> 